Well, we played you part one of our interview with Glenn Beck last night, and that got quite a bit of media attention today. The reason why is on our Facebook page. In part two, I asked him about President Obama's pledge to, quote, go it alone in his second term. Where Congress isn't acting, I'll act on my own. Uh, we are not just going to be waiting for legislation in order to make sure uh, that we're providing Americans uh, the kind of help that they need. One of the things that I'm going to be talking to my cabinet about is how do we use all the tools available to us, not just uh, legislation. Uh, I've got a pen and I've got a phone. Uh, and I can use that pen to sign executive orders uh, and take executive actions and administrative actions that move the ball forward. In the meantime, I'm directing my administration to move forward where we can on our own. But I'm also going to act on my own uh, if uh, Congress is deadlocked. I've got a pen to take executive action. He's got a pen, Glenn. He's got a pen and a phone. I know. And, he, and, and he's demonstrated that he will um, use it. And he has a phone. And that, the rest of that clip says that he'll use it to call his friends at universities, which have turned into nothing more than activist sites. Um, this is a dangerous use of power. Um, and I, I want to make it really clear. I mean, everybody, everybody knows where I stand on the president. But I, I will tell you, I warn against um, Congress and both parties as well. Um, I think, you know, we're coming up to a presidential election, and I think uh, this is an awful, uh, an awful lot of power for people to relinquish. And I haven't seen the character of George Washington stand up. Um, but that's what it would take, somebody who says, I can just get it done. That's not what the republic is. That's not what our Constitution says. That's not what the American people want. We don't want a group of people in Washington who are pitting people against each other and then saying, I'll get it done for you. No, 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 please leave us alone. Let us take care of it. Let us take care of each other. Let's let's have reasonable conversations. But we're not having that in Washington. Do you think there's any sort of a move away from that kind of executive power that the president seems to want to assert? He claims it's a do nothing Congress and he has to. But do you think we're going to see a, a move away from that sort of executive power in the wake of Obamacare's failures? Um, Governor Chris Christie's office abuse, I w uh, these other reports that we've had, even the Virginia governor today being indicted uh, on certain crimes, alleged. Uh, I will former, tell you that I, I think so. And I, I hope that we don't have to have, um, you know, any kind of nasty event to do it. Like, you know, in I think it was 1856, um, uh, Senator Sumner went to the well of the Senate and he was speaking out against slavery. And what he said, basically, he's like, you know, both of you guys, the Republicans are the uh, Whigs and the Democrats. Neither of you guys are going to solve this. Neither of you going to do it. You're, you both talk a good game, but you're not going to do it. And there are about 20 new Republicans. And the event that brought everything together was a beatdown in the well of the Senate. A, a House member came over and beat Senator Sumner with the butt of his cane almost to death. In fact, nobody tried to stop him in the Senate. You, nobody you, pulled him off. It was only the desk that saved his life. You, you don't want to see us become, you know, some of these foreign countries where we actually see that happen right. in the well but of the Congress. Right, but that happened. But what, but what happened, what's important, without the Internet, without television, without anything else, four years later, four years later, a Republican was elected uh, as president of the United States, and the Whigs were over. If the Republicans don't wake up, if people don't in Congress, both Republicans and Democrats, wake up and say, You're not, we're not where the people are, you will have a, a Whig party. You will have a, an overthrow. And the Republicans or the Democrats, or hopefully both of them, go the way of the Whig party. And it's over. And a return to the Constitution. Let me know what you think. Go to Facebook.com slash The Kelly File or send me a tweet at Megan Kelly, hashtag Kelly File.